Welcome to a brand new simulator game called Plane Accident. We head in, we investigate a plane crash, and we work out exactly what went down. I am so intrigued by this. I watch these documentaries all the time. If I see them on TV, I'm instantly hooked. Is it the engine went, the engine was on fire? Was there a screw loose? Um, well, let's, let's find out. So this is the, I guess the prologue day one. Let's do this. I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Uh, I'm playing on the review code. Um, I will leave a link to the game in the description below. And let's play. That is a very small one. Can you guys see that? Tiny. That's a really tiny logo as well. This game is not made for 4K. Welcome. It's your first day in the new job. My name is Anthony, and I know everything about plane crashes. Well, okay, Anthony. Don't show off. Before you begin the real investigation, you must undergo training under my supervision. Okay. Why is it like... Oh, my God. It's inverted. Are you kidding me? What is wrong with you? That is hideous. Okay, there we go. That's better. Right, so this must be our vehicle. Take the backpack. Okay, I can do that. What is this? Find the wreckage. Do you guys know where the wreckage is? Let's have a look. There is music, but I've just muted it because I had issues with a recent simulator game where they claimed the whole background music. I mean, unbelievable. Is this the crash? Okay, we found it. The wreckage is here. At first, you must secure the crash site. For this, use the backpack, sorry, the, your backpack and the markers from your backpack. Great reading there, Scott. So how do we do that? Oh, there we go. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's going to put people off, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, no, there's actually, okay, there's a line there as well. Okay. Okay, it's been cooled enough. Extinguish the flames. I must admit, I don't see flames, but sure. Extinguisher. Do you guys see flames? I can hear them. Ah! Jesus! All right, any more? Yep, there's some flames. I see them. I've got this completely under control, okay? Don't panic. Secure the evidence. Let's do that. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes, okay. Sure. Uh, there is one more. Sometimes evidence is hard to find. You can use the drone. Okay, let's do that. So press five. Scan the map. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, wow. Sweet. Is it easy to use? All right, what are we looking at? Scan for parts in zone one, apparently. What the hell? Okay, so these are, that's roughly where we need to go. Is that right? So five again. Am I putting the right way here? Whoop. Over here. Aha. There's one here. So we need to mark this. I think. Do you want me to mark this? also something over here as well. Ah, oh, prepare. Okay. Prepare the photographic documentations. So should I take pictures as well of all the objects? So one from here. Is that a good shot? Look around, inspect parts of the wreckage closely. If something appears interesting, the camera, the camera will illuminate the window in red. Oh, interesting. Oh, what is this bottle? Why are they so focused on this bottle? Maybe it's alcohol. There's the plane. All the wreckage to be transported. So we will do that with a telephone. Okay. Um, call the technician. Mr. Wolf, I need your. Okay, that was like the basics of a plane accident in plane investigation. What next? Read the case documents. Okay. Oh, wow. Is this all the parts? Ah, so you have to gather all the evidence. Then they get put into this room. Um, do I know where the documents are? 
do, 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 do. Oh, I'm in them. I see the arrow. Right, what have we got? Case files. I reckon it's alcohol. That's what I think. What's this? Oh, we're going to notice any issues with the maintenance. We've established the mechanic X was taking care of the machine. At the later stage, we'll call him. Let's also check the flight book. Inside you'll find the notes of the pilot regarding the course of flight. Okay. Uh, quick, poor, but cheap service. Okay. Replaced the wings, the hyperspeed, another malfunctions found. The work was done by a mechanic X. Okay. X, Y, and Z service replaced component engine. No other malfunction. Okay. Seems okay. This is the flight log. F01 to F02 flight. Weather sunny on the 8th of August. Uh, flight duration 35 minutes. Flight without disruptions. Bit cloudy. Seems pretty normal. Okay, so these are just my photos. Exhibit A. A canister. Inspect the substance inside the bottle. So, good idea. Check the testimonies of the witnesses. Okay. Ah, witnesses are over here. Interesting. There's actually quite a lot to this game. I thought it'd be like just me looking at a plane and scanning it. <laughs> there's, there's more to it than that. Lady Wire. Hello, Lady Wire. The plane exploded in the air. It was a bomb. Conduct a scan for explosives. I don't reckon it was a bomb. Hmm. <gasps> of course, the black box. The famous black box. Do we know where that is? Where is said black box? What's this? Aha. This is the black box station. I don't know where the black box actually is. In order to screw or remove parts of the plane, you need to take the tools. The basic one is the screw. Take the screwdriver and use the screw on the cover of the cargo compartment. Oh, do we have to get it out? Ah. So get the tool from the tool box or the tool stand. Thank you. Do we have a battery for this? I do now. The component is around here. Is this where it would be on a plane? Let me know in the comments. Ah, pallet number two. That's where the hatch goes. Give me the flight recorder. Is that what it looks like? Ooh. It should be able to withstand. Put the item back. I don't want to put the item back. Leave me alone. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, the black box bits over here, isn't it? I know exactly what I'm doing. What have we got? In order to read the recording of the aircraft's last flight, you must adjust the airways. If both are in unison, um, at the same position, and then the reading results will be sent via the email. Okay, so let's try and edit this. Oh, we're close, we're close. Oh. It sounds drunk to me. What a beautiful weather. What a perfect flight. Ooh, I'm going down. I'm going down. <laughs> I'm going down. Well, There's I'm nothing down. you can do about it. Great flight. What a beautiful weather. What a... Okay, he's doing the weather. He sounds like he's having a great, a great time. Let's go and check our emails. For a full dialogue of what happened on this flight. Inbox. Okay, the recording was decoded correctly. The results of the reading. During the flight, the plane would rapidly lose altitude a number of times. Hmm, so it's like a sort of up and down, up and down. It must be inspected whether it was caused by the weather conditions or the steering system malfunction. Send the results for further investigation in the Aviation Aerodynamics Institute. Okay. Where do we begin here? Send email, outbox. See if they can help me a little bit. 
called as the witness. All right, I can do that. Oh, the mechanic. Hello, Mr. Mechanic. Hello. Yes, it was me who was taking care of the plane. The machine was new and functional. It was brought the previous year. It required no inspection. It was, it was all good, basically. Okay. Um, place all clues on the boards. Well, I guess that call's done. Place all the clues on the board. This board. Pick up. Okay. Bomb. I don't think it was a bomb. Flight recording. However, flight controls. And the... It has to do with drink. This my this guy was high as a kite. Ah, so we've got very tiny bars at the top there. Can barely read it. Inspect the substance. Maybe there's a bomb. And also the weather. I have three clues on my desk. Let's check what's inside the mysterious bottle. Let's send it for analysis. That is a very good idea. This is what I thought like early on. Alcohol. If in doubt, it's alcohol. So we send that off to be looked at. It's actually a lot to this game. It's actually quite cool. Uh, yep. Do, 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 do. Take the package to the side door. Sure, I can do that. Why is it such a big box? Will it be Amazon? Put stuff in overly big boxes. And then hopefully the laboratory will conduct some research. We can um, work out what the hell this alcohol is, this substance. Um, what have we got here? We've thoroughly inspected the black box recording and have compared it to the weather conditions on the plane's flight route. The losses of altitude were caused by natural... What? The losses of altitude were caused by the natural weather phenomenon, but not by any problem with the steering of the plane. The plane control system was functional. Because the, the, the plane was functional, it's fine. But it could have been the weather. Potentially. Okay. Reconstruct the wreckage of the plane. How the hell do we do that? Um, in order to attach the missing parts, you need a screwdriver from the tool station. Well, I've got one. So I'm going to try and put the propeller on. Boop. All right, that's on. And then what's this for? Is this the, what is this bit? The rudder. Ah, yes, of course. Rudder's pretty important. Make a scan of the wreckage. I, I still think it's substance. I think it's a substance. Um, Scan of explosives. Obvious. It cannot be explosives on this. A refuse. Beep, 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 beep. I believe there is also a demo for this game if you guys want to check it out for yourself. You thought you'd, if you could do a better job than me, feel free. Receive the box and the email with the examination results. Okay. What have you got for me? Thank you. So you don't need this drill anymore. So I'm going to get rid of this. Let's put this back on my little pallet. Ah, I don't want to pick it back up again. Right, what do we guys? What do you guys think? What is in this substance? We've checked the contents of the bottle, and it turns out to be. It contains hydrogen dioxide. This substance could not have influenced the plane accident in any way. Oh, I was wrong. I am a terrible, terrible man. That is what I presumed, and I was all wrong. Oh, shoot. I'm a horrible, horrible person. So it seems like it was the weather. Explosion in here. I don't think it was that. So the flight consistent, was it definitely okay? That's oh, just the weather, wasn't it? So I think it was to do with weather. That's, that's what you think it is. Okay. We must completely indicate the cause of the catastrophe. What can I say that word for? Put an X, so it was potentially a bomb. Oh, 
What the? An explosion? You finished your training. <laughs> I don't feel like I have. From now on, you can conduct investigations on your own. Good luck. I'm screwed. I'm royally screwed. So that was... That was a, that was a bomb? Based on what? I feel like I screwed up there. <laughs> I feel like I, what did I? How did I? That was the tutorial. All right, I'm trying to think what happened. Right, I'm trying to go through my brain. How did that the explosion? It was going up and down, wasn't it? I thought it was caused by the weather. Unless I just read it wrong. I must 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 have read it wrong. Must have. But then there was no hint of a bomb either. So I don't know. I don't know. We're, we're, we're doing another one anyway. <laughs> that was the tutorial, and I royally screwed it up. Right, go to the backpack for my truck. My little pickup truck. Right, find the wreckage first. That's a good idea, isn't it? Where is said wreckage? Do you guys see the wreckage? That'd be a good start, wouldn't it? Try and find the actual plane that crashed. That'd be a great idea. Um. Hmm. I'll be honest. No idea where it is. Oh. Okay. Now I found it. I see a woo over there. Oh, it's on fire. <gasps> I can help. I'm coming. Save the sweet corn. I guess it's sweet corn. I don't know. It's stubborn fire. Has it gone out? Okay. Uh, I'm helping. I really am like the first man on the scene, aren't I? I think the fire brigade will be here or something. Or the police. Any indication, early signs of what this crash could be? Check on the condition of the victim. Is a victim? Is there someone still in the. Oh my god, the ice! Oh my god! Hello, I'm here! Open this. Hello. <laughs> Just give me a little shake. Oh gee, doesn't look good. This wasn't in the training. The pilot is alive. Call for help. Ah. Okay. Um, that is four. No, yeah, that's right. Yeah, cool. One, one, two. What the hell is that? Where are we? Okay, so I'm guessing we can potentially later on. Asking for evidence. This is actually quite a cool game. I'm quite liking it. Um, yeah. Right, mark the crash. That's a very good idea. Right, where do we begin marking this crash? One. I feel like I can still hear um, a fire. But I don't think I can. Right, the crash has been marked. Let's scan for evidence. So that would be my, my drone, right? Scan the map. I've got a drone. I've got a drone. I still, I've never bought a drone before, actually. I probably would like to. Scan for parts. I've got a couple. <laughs> Oh, there's lots. There is lots. I want to do all the scans, right? Might as well. So I'll separate them into four zones. Yes, yeah, so we've got quite a few. There's one, obviously, I think that's the wheel over there, isn't it? All right, let's begin. Let's mark out some pirates. What is this? One. So where are we right now? Let's have a look on the map. There's one that's really far away. Uh, if you keep going forward here. Aha! Is that something? I'll take it back. I don't think there's anything. Uh, 
he sitting there for a second? It's hard to see now. Maybe not. That's not a piece of the plane, is it? It is. So is this some kind of... Oh, I forgot the name of it now. Um, like a crop feeder thingy. Is that what it is? That's what I'm guessing. I wouldn't say they're the most talented of flyers. There's one right next to us. It's not the bin, is it? It's not can't be the bin. Oh, does it just scan that there's like things in the area? It doesn't mean it's necessarily. Ah, okay, I get it. Sorry. Doesn't mean it's necessarily going to be something that's useful or relevant to the case. It's actually surprisingly difficult to find all the parts. Tag. So I'll find four more. I could be all day. I haven't really looked around the plane yet. There's definitely something over there. Piece of the propeller. Right, what else have we got? So we've still got three, find three more items. They could be. Apparently all behind me. Ha! Another piece of the wheel. There's another bit of wheel here as well. How did I miss that? All right, there is one more part. Man, this really hit the deck. So I'm being completely blind, which is definitely doable. That is definitely... Like, right on top of it. Shoot. Aha! Yes! Prepare the photographic evidence. Alright, we can do that. It's like a little digital SLR camera, look at me. Look at me shine. Alright, what are we looking at? Um... Oh, we got it. Okay. It's supposed to go red. Boom. And take a couple of the uh, pictures of the wheels where it smacked the deck. What is this thing here, by the way? <coughs> I can't really work out what it is. Well, I don't know where to begin with this investigation. There's no like real sort of, um, I don't know, stuff that really stands out. Order the wreckage to be transported. I can do that. Mr. Wolf. Please come and collect it. Thank you, Mr. Wolf. For your effective work. Man, if we can solve this. Not only if I, if, if I work it out as well. <laughs> Unlike the tutorial. I must have missed something. That I'm really embarrassed, actually. I must have missed something. I must have. So we've gone back to our facility. Obviously, it's like the tutorial. Um, let's read some of the documents. We need to interview the pilot as well. I definitely believe there was some kind of malfunction on the plane. That's what I'm guessing, anyway. Right. Pilot Fred. Crazy. Okay, he's called Crazy Fred. That's not great, is it? Fred's a farmer. Okay. Took off in uh, the Air Tractor 502. And was spraying, that's what I said, uh, spraying his cornfields. Suddenly, without any apparent reason, the plane started to descend. Thanks to the pilot's um, experience, he was able to land um, doing an emergency landing. Okay. Yeah, I reckon there's something malfunction on this plane. One million percent. Right, photographic ev evidence. Has all the photos. Wonderfully taken. Beautiful. Uh, we need to talk to the witnesses. <coughs> oh, there's two witnesses. Okay, that's good. What a break. I managed to determine that the witnesses to the accident was neighbor Mike. Perhaps his testimony will be helpful. Okay, so I've got to film. film. We can telephone this Mike guy. 
Mr. Fred Bailwell was admitted to our hospital in critical condition and has not regained consciousness yet. When his condition improves, I will inform you by email. See, that is very, that's going to be very important. Very important. So look out for that. Hopefully he wakes up soon. Um, do you go through all of these? I was still flying with the fields. If it goes well, I'll be spraying the entire cornfield in two weeks. Oh, is he in a bit of a rush? Ooh, interesting. It's time for the vegetable spraying with the new tanks. I hope it goes even faster. He seems to be in a rush. I went to Fairmount Fair. I ate some delicious food. Maybe a bit too much. He's got a stomachache. I'm checking if the plane is in good condition. It'd be helpful if Stanley could take a look at it. I flew to Fairmount uh, for some bigger shopping. Everything's working fine. He seems like he's in a bit of a rush, which is interesting. Hey, what is this? Oh, was the spray tank too large? Oh, wow. Because if that's, if he's done like a, a, a turn, like a bank, the liquid could have gone to one side and it could have unbalanced the plane, potentially. All right, what we got? There was a problem with the radiator. I fixed, oh God. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. I've attached a new spray tank. Uh, not one flight and everything was... One, now one flight and everything will be sprayed. So he's in a rush. He's trying to like minimize the, the, the time that it takes to spray. I installed the black box. They asked why. I tell them that I can. Okay. Bit weird. Um, engine regeneration, fluid replacement, hydraulic system inspection. No other repairs were performed. I've just been informed about the poor technical condition of the aircraft. Well, that's not good, is it? That's not good. The engine is running worse and worse. I've looked at it, but I don't know what's wrong. I'll take it to Stanley. The engine, it just doesn't sound like it's in good shape. I fixed the throttle because it was sticking. And that's good. The throttle was sticking. Oh, great. Unbelievable. Um, do we have the phone available? to call these witnesses. Hello, Stanley. This plane was held together with duct tape. Inspections? What inspections? As long as something was working, it was working. And when it broke down, Fred fixed it himself. I don't know why, but Fred insisted on having a black box in the plane, so I helped him install it. Maybe there's some information on it. All right. Thank you, Mechanic Stanley. And neighbor Mike. I was sitting on the porch and watching Crazy Fred fly over the cornfield. At one point, the plane went straight down to the ground. Luckily, Fred is a good pilot and somehow managed to land. Maybe it's because of those huge tanks he attached to the plane himself. I told him, just like a friend, that those big tanks, he won't go very far. And boy, I was right. He was right. All along, he was right. Right, so we have a couple more clues. Got the black box and we have Fred in hospital. Reconstruct the wreckage of the plane. So we'll try and pull it back together. So we probably need a good old helpful screwdriver. All right, the wheel, it's at the back wheel, wasn't it? Where the hell does, oh, it goes right there, okay. Nicely done. I pick up a new battery. Got a fuel tester as well. Well, I never. Tank shield. Ah, uh... oh, there it goes. Yeah, this plate. This was. I mean, is it actual duct tape? I think that's supposed to be duct tape. Oh, that's not good, is it? That's not good. Yeah, these tanks look. Far too big. Far too big. Look how big they are. Oh my god. Just so you can save a bit of time. You're in an aircraft, mate. Unbelievable. So this goes on the other wing. Just so you didn't have to land. Get some more. Oh, it's just, it's just laziness. You're putting people's lives at risk. Your own life at risk, just to save a little bit of time. It's un 
acceptable. I will not accept it. I will find the person responsible for this. Propellers. Luckily, he's a good pilot and he managed to like not hurt anyone. And I think like he should be okay. Right, scan Zilekic. What we got? Um, scan of the surface. Beep, beep, beep. This is a very, this is definitely more of an in-depth game than I expected. This is quite fun. Even if I'm screwing it up <laughs> most of the time. Ooh. Email has arrived, and also it's got the black box as well. So I guess an email is from the pilot. Hopefully he's okay now. You cannot take the drill in the room. That is forbidden. Right, what have we got? The scan test results. The scan showed that additional crop spray tanks did not affect the aircraft's payload capacity and were not cause of the accident. Wow. That was an early call made by myself and I, I'm guessing it was wrong. It was wrong. Where do we get this black box from? Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Where would it be? Oh, Jesus. Did you not mean to do that? Would the black box be under that? Ah, it is. I think it is. Wow, that's a bit of lucky, isn't it? Black box, I'm coming for you. Yes. Wow, wow, wow. Jesus. Oh god. That's quite funny. Look how smart. What the hell? Fuel? Fly, fly. Oh, one sec. <laughs> I love the acting. Sang about fuel, like the fuel just disappeared. Well, well, well. We have another cause. We have another cause. Maybe to test the fuel. Maybe the fuel's dodgy. <gasps> well, I never. Well, I never. Right, we got black box. Recording decoded successfully. Reading results. During the flight, the engine stops functioning. The probable cause, <gasps> fuel depletion. Check the fuel level. Oh my God. So just run out of fuel. Would the extra weight also mean it's going to use up more fuel? Okay. What is that, by the way? Oh, God, he's on drugs as well. Ah. Ah. Can we send that to be looked at, potentially? Yeah, well, that needs to be looked at. I didn't realize there was drugs there. Oops. Place all the clues on the board. So we just check the fuel, but I'm guessing it'll be... Spray tanks are okay, so that was not the cause of the, issue, of the, of the crash. Potentially out of fuel. And... New evidence. Check the fuel gauge in the cockpit. I was looking, but I couldn't see anything in particular. Let's have a look. Where is it? Fuel. Yep, it's empty. Ah! Really? The fuel indicator shows that the tank is half full. So he believes there's fuel in there, but the aircraft just seems to stop. Check the aircraft blueprint. 
I guess that's what it's supposed to say. To find the location of the fuel tank. Okay. Do you know where are the blueprints? Just uh, a very good question. Ah, it's over here. Where is said fuel tank? Fuel tank is in the wings, apparently. Okay. Um, a fuel probe. What's a fuel probe? Got a fuel tester. Is this what we need? Oh, it is what we need. Okay. There's one there. Where's the third one? Oh. Okay. Receive the box. Email with the whatever that drug was. Uh, call the mechanic. All right. I did did something there. I don't know what I what I, what I did, but it seems to seem to work. All right. What have we got here then? Received an email about these drugs. Could this have been an issue during that flight? I will investigate it, and I will work this out. Once and for all. Alright, check the emails. What have we got? We have analyzed the substance. Uh, we can confidently state that it contains ordinary aspirin. The powder could not have had any impact on the sacromotor skills. So it does not affect the pilot. But we are going to call the mechanic again. Fuel gauge not working, showing the wrong value. Very likely, agricultural machines aren't subject to mentory inspections. I suspect that half of the systems were faulty and barely holding up. Oh, lovely. Great. Oh, so we've got some more clues. Was there just no fuel then? Is that what we're saying? Is that the cause of this disaster? It wasn't the aspirin. I think it was the fuel. Read my inbox. Oh, he's awoken. I was assuming that Mr. Fred is available. Okay, should we ask him some questions then? Cool, Fred. Fred, 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 crazy Fred. I feel weak. I don't know what happened. Was there not enough fuel? The gauge hasn't been working for years. But all I always refuel with 200 gallons of fuel. And it was enough. This time... My employee, Pedro, refueled the plane. Oh. Pedro. Pedro, Pedro, Pedro. I speak English a little. <laughs> oh, no. The tank airplane has sailing all Afro said 200 liters. Okay. I swear there might have been like a bit of like lost in translation to happen there. It seems like it's okay. Was Pedro responsible? Establish the cause of the accident. It must be the fuel, right? I did it! I solved it! It was the fuel! Crazy Fred modified his plane and installed additional spray tanks. However, it had no imp impact on the crash. It turned out that the, the cause of the disaster was poor knowledge of English by the empo employee, Fredo. Oh, was he? Oh. He misunderstood Fred's instructions and instead of pouring 200 gallons into the into the tank, he filled it with 200 litres. Oh my God. How did I not make that connection? So it was Pedro. It was a misunderstanding. He wasn't bothered by the accident. He stated that apparently it wasn't his time yet. He bought a new plane and is still, per is, um, still personally... What? He still pers personally pilots, okay? However, this time he takes better care of all the technical conditions. Okay, good. That's good to, that's good to hear. I'm glad Fred is okay. In his anger, Fred fired him from the job and wanted to press charges. However, he quickly remembered that Pedro was employed illegally. Ultimately, a week after returning from the hospital, he rehired Pedro. It was just a misunderstanding. It was a complete misunderstanding. That was good fun. I enjoyed that. 
Would you guys like to see potentially more? Let me know in the comments. Um, and yeah, maybe we could do some more, more, some more cases. The Goldenberg case. That was good fun. I enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on the video and bye-bye.